hey guys welcome back to the channel so today is going to be a little bit of a more serious video because that's what i'm about we are here to motivate we are here to inspire we're here to help one another through this journey of life and its experiences and the things that we go through so this video is going to be about self-care it's about tips on to take care of yourself to look after yourself to help you better deal with the experiences that life has to put in front of you or will be putting in front of you as time goes along. So if you would like to see this video on self-care tips, looking after yourself, then please keep watching. So the first thing that we need to understand is the whole notion of self-care. What does self-care mean? Self-care means exactly what it says looking after and taking care of yourself at the end of the day we have so many things that we go through the stresses of life anxiety depression mental health things that basically affect us in such a way that we forget to look after ourselves and to take care of ourselves so self-care literally looks at the fact that you need to put yourself first in some instances as much as it may be difficult as much as you may be a family person or you may be all about the people around you the only way to perform at your optimum best is to take care of yourself so i'm going to give you some tips as to how you can do that because i think i started really well especially when i went on the healthy lifestyle journey where i started to look at looking after myself and taking care of myself so we're going to start with point number one so the first thing that is very very important when it comes to self-care is looking after yourself so this involves things like get a good night's rest sleep sleep is so so important for you to be able to be your optimum best we can sit here and talk about sleep all damn day and say oh no i'll only sleep when i'm dead no 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 yes to working yes to drive yes to ambition but sleeping gives you the energy to be able to perform at your ultimate best so you need to at least at least at the very least get five hours of sleep i say five hours normally they say seven to eight hours but honestly i know how life is i know that work is a stress school is a stress but the most important thing is to get some rest and the only way you can do that is to sleep because when you sleep your body recharges have you ever noticed when you're sick maybe you've got an ear ache or an eye ache or an eye infection or whatever when you sleep you wake up feeling better the next day sleep gives your body that time to recharge to get ready for the next day so please sleep well okay sleep well and then the next thing is eat well as well eating well is so important i cannot stress to you how important eating well is i really i really get it exercising the habit making it a habit you know self-care that's another thing that i want to mention about self-care is making self-care a habit if you decide to do it because you just feel like you know what i want to take care of myself or whatever you're soon going to run out of steam and you're going to end up falling back into the old patterns that you have that really don't assist you with anything to be honest it just doesn't assist you once you make self-care a habit i tell you it's going to change everything so eating healthy is one of the most important things because when you feel healthy you are healthier you look healthier you exercise you take care of yourself you but you eat the correct foods because it makes you feel better and when you eat the correct foods i'm telling you things like greens and lots of water and cutting out sugars and all that we can preach it all damn day but the thing is it actually works it actually helps you so much to feel so much more better it gives you a lot more energy it makes you more productive as well have you noticed when you eat a burger how you feel after you eat a burger and chips i'm not saying don't eat those things all i'm saying is exercise a little bit of restraint in the bad eating department and exercise a whole lot of openness into eating healthy because it helps so so much i can't stress to you how much it helps and then the next point is 
keep active to keep healthy and to keep active and to sleep well helps you perform better at whatever it is that you're doing it helps your mind rest sleeping helps your mind rest eating correctly helps your body feel better it's more energized you 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 get to do more things you get to be more productive throughout the day being active also helps you not Put your body into slumber and get lazy you know at the end of the day you don't you don't want to be lazy especially if you're hell on ambition and drive and getting somewhere and achieving your goals then you want to keep active if keeping active means walks or yoga or exercise or gym or whatever then do that do whatever it takes for you to get to a point where you feel that you know what i feel good Every single day I feel good because I've had enough sleep, I'm eating the correct foods, and I'm active. That's all you need to do. And then the next point is take part in self-care habits that will help you. So these are things that you really, really love to do, but pay more attention to them. So if you love to, to record, if you're a YouTuber and you love to record, pay more attention to it. Don't just sit and be like, okay, today I'm going to do a video on this and this and this, and then... Pay more attention to it. Put a little bit more energy into it. Sort of tell yourself or ask yourself, why am I doing this? What does it fuel in me? Is it a passion? Am I doing it just because, oh, well, it's something that I have to do or what have you? It's a way in which you can acknowledge the fact that you're taking care of yourself by doing something that you really, really love to do. Another thing is unplug. Unplug. You see, this thing right here is a problem. This thing right here is such a problem because it's one of the things that just inhibit us from unplugging. Sometimes, even just for an hour in a day, we have come back from work or you've come back from school or what have you, unplug. Put the TV off, switch your phone off or put it on silent but put it very far away where you don't have to see it. Stay away from Twitter and WhatsApp and Facebook and all of that. Literally take some time to yourself for yourself so that you can be better. So that it can get you to think about things differently. Because we do all these things each and every single day, but it becomes so regular routine that we just don't even think about it anymore it's like something that oh well it's fine i'm gonna go into youtube i'm gonna do whatever but if you unplug and you give yourself some time to yourself just be in your space for a while it's good it's good you need to do that while you do that pick up a book and read if you read you open your mind up you open your mind up to thinking differently opens up your imagination broadens it as well at the same time so it's very very important because these things the more you do them is when they become a habit so when you consider things like that it is so so important to actually take care of yourself and look after yourself in such a way that you become a better person for yourself and for others look after yourself because at the end of the day we come into this world alone and we leave it alone as much as there are people around us but we need to know that we need to take care of ourselves so we are operating at our optimum best each and every single day you become a better person for it so exercise some self-care do some things that make you happy but also make you a better person so that's all i have to say in terms of self-care look after yourself because that's all we need in this world you're a better you is a better you for yourself and for everybody else. Okay? All right. So until the next one, live in light and love, and I'll see you soon.